These are stairs. But what if there was a door hidden in the stairs? There is. So, this is the hidden door in stairs door, and it's 4x3 blocks. And you could also just do one side, so you could just have a one wide hidden little door in the stairs, and that would be just this side, because it's just the same, copied twice. And it's powered with a lever. Now, the only caveat is you'll notice that the stairs go below the door. That's because it's kind of intended to be able to be put in stairs going as far down as you could possibly want. So we could just carry on going here. And as long as we input into this redstone, it will still work. But if you take blocks and put them at the same level as the door, like this, you may have broken the door because there's this redstone here that needs to connect to this redstone here. So a block blocks it off. A stair does not block it off. So if you want to do blocks here and have this be the same level as the floor, well, you'll actually have to take your redstone and make it go around. And then you'd also have to add a target block next to the stairs to make the redstone connect to that target block. Not the prettiest thing ever, but that's what you'd have to do if you wanted it like that. You can always hide this with a block. But yeah, just in case that's what you wanted to do, you'd have to do a workaround like this. That's the point on this side, this would have to be one block lower, because that's where it gets blocked off. Anyway, enough fixing it, how do you build it in the first place? Well, you're going to need this 4x3 area, your door starts sort of four blocks off the floor, so that's where the floor of your door is, and then you've got the two blocks of space above that, so it's kind of 4x3x6, by by but two of those are just really gaps for your stairs to go into. So for resources, you need six sticky pistons, six redstone dust, two repeaters, two target blocks, two observers. You need some stairs, so four for the door, and then really you want two on each side, so that'll be eight, and then the rest of your staircase, and then some blocks. So to build it, we do blocks in the middle, and then target blocks on top. Then on top of that, we have two pistons aiming upwards. Now if we go to the back, we do two pistons behind target blocks, and two pistons above those, and those have the stairs on them facing to the back. So these ones will get pushed higher, and your staircase would be like that when it's in place. In terms of redstone, we go to the very bottom, put two blocks with redstone on, then we do a block going up to the side, block going next to the target block with a repeater on two ticks going into a block, an observer on top with redstone, and that goes into a block. Then we just copy that on the other side, like this. And now if we input into the front, there you go, goes up and back down. So again, this would be hidden in sort of a staircase like this. And that's what it looks like. And obviously you'd want to hide your lever a bit better. Now again, if you don't want the staircase to go infinitely below or whatever, and want your floor at the level of the door, you're going to have to watch out for blocking this road staff with blocks. So the quickest way to get around that is to just do blocks to the side like this. So we're using two more redstone and then another target block next to these back stairs. Like this, so it does stick out more, but that's what you have to do. Then if we just move our floor up and connect our lever, there's our hidden door in a staircase. But what if you want to use a button? Well, you'd have to use a contraption like this. So what you need is two droppers and a comparator and a hopper. And you'll also need a couple of redstone repeaters. So how this works is where our lever would go into the redstone. We need to input to that with a repeater. And if we go a couple of blocks behind that, so we go one block, then a dropper aiming up, a dropper aiming towards the repeater, hopper aiming into the bottom dropper, comparator aiming at the repeater, then we just need a random item in one of the droppers, and now if we input into this with a repeater from a button, this will now switch between being on and off when we press the button. So we can activate this from both sides and open and close it. So obviously you want to do your redstone going a bit more 
somewhere you can access with the button easier. And there we go. And then we just add a button on the other side. Alright, I've been Island Eyed. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can use this in your world. If you want a download of my redstone builds, there's download in the description or the comments. And there's also a link to my Patreon if anyone watching this ever wants to throw money at my dumb face. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.